Hey guys, welcome back to another cleaning motivation video. If you are new to my channel, my name is Naima Outdoor. I am a stay-at-home mom of three toddlers under five. Today's video is a whole house clean with me. I will be cleaning the master bedroom, the kitchen, bathroom, living room, dining area, the breakfast nook, foyer, pantry. Also, I have a ton of laundry motivation for you guys. And at the end, we'll be folding it all. So with today's cleaning video, I hope you clean along with me. And if you simply love watching satisfying cleaning videos and have not yet subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back for another cleaning motivational video. Hey guys, how are you? It's been so long since we chatted. It's been a while since I actually uploaded a video. I know I've been gone. I literally needed a minute to myself to unplug. When I said unplug, I literally just unplugged and just took a breather and I needed that. A little bit of life update. Right now I'm doing this solo mommy thing all by myself and it's a lot guys at one point i thought i got it all figured out which i did that was the physical part but mentally i just needed to just take a moment so that's the reason why i just felt like i needed to just unplug step back and just take a break mentally i feel good and i feel so much better and i am ready to get back to making videos and especially communicating with you guys because i miss you guys so much so if you caught and read the description I just had to put it there because I get asked all the time, are you pregnant, are you pregnant? No, I am not pregnant, I just have abdominal separation. After each child, it got worse, so I am currently looking like I am three months pregnant, but no, I am not pregnant. So I came out to the living room to sort the clothes that was in this basket. I wanted to sort them by colors. I already washed the black so I found a couple and I might mix it with the grays. I'm not sure yet. So I got the lighter colors, the grays, the browns over there, and just basically like the darker colors. And these are the light, brown, uh, light blues. I think I'm just going to mix. I don't have much. So instead of just waiting for a load, I'm just going to mix it with that one right here. Gold. 
the youngest was taking a nap and I wanted to be, well, I was being very, very careful and preventing from making a lot of noise because the last thing I wanted to do was wake him up. So anytime I was moving something that made a little bit too much noise, I would turn around and look at him to see if that disturbed him. But luckily he just knocked out and he was just sound asleep. two days looking for these sight words. I looked everywhere and of course they had to be on top of the dresser. That's because normally before bed I like to go over it with him and I must have placed it on top of the dresser and completely forgot. Doing these sight words is part of his daily schoolwork that we have to do and since I could not find them I was using another form of method to, to do it with him but I'm just glad I found these sight words or else I would just have to redo the thing over. So yeah I'm just going to continue cleaning before I move on to the bathroom. Shooting me with words, but I won't let them bruise. Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you. Cause it will ricochet. I won't let it bite. I will look at you and tell you that I'm alright. Like a ricochet, it will come right to you. Normally, I like to take breaks, and while I was doing that, I was sitting on the couch with one of the kids, and I heard a weird sound, but I totally ignored it. I heard it again, and I'm like, okay, this sounds a little weird, so I got up to go look, like follow the sound, and it led me to the pantry slash laundry room. Now, I'm walking into the pantry. When I looked down, it was water everywhere. It was literally a pool well not literally but it was a pool of water on the floor when i looked up it was hot water gushing out of the um the water heater holes the water was oh my gosh guys i was just in disbelief i didn't know what to do i panicked <laughs> Um, I went to the breaker to turn off the water thinking that is going to help ran back to the pantry and water still spraying I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Mind you? I don't know anything regarding construction or or anything about a water heater So I didn't know how to turn it off. I thought if you just go to the breaker Then that would solve the issue. No, it didn't. I had to put a bunch of towels on the floor to suck all the water I went and grabbed the bucket to try to catch as much water as possible it was so horrible in the middle of that the baskets that i got when i did the uh, pantry makeover oh my gosh 
the one of them the bottom got wet and my first thought was remove everything i started just taking everything out because i didn't want anything to ruin so i took everything out put them in the back room and like the water was still gushing going everywhere things were getting wet the shelving boards were getting wet that i worked so hard on a few months ago to just revamp the pantry honestly guys the only thing i was thinking about this thing is gonna burst this thing is gonna burst and there's gonna be water everywhere you know what let me show you guys what i mean i don't know what's happening water everywhere luckily and thankfully my neighbor came and helped me he told me this water heater hose was bad and needed to be replaced and that is the reason why it started spraying everywhere so i did end up getting two new ones one for backup just in case because the last thing i want is for that to happen again to be honest guys i'm just so happy that i was home when it happened imagine if i was not home like this is nothing compared to what could have happened if I was not home at the end I'm just thankful that the situation is resolved and I can stop panicking and I'm so thankful to have good neighbors every time you walk away from me I want you how could I want you more or when did I lose my perspective oh God have I lost it but my cravings for you so shameless can't get enough I trust you, but I need you, and you're off my radar now. I trust you, telling you that I need you, but you're off my radar now. I'm like an outcast from pillar to post. There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts. I'm like an outcast from pillar to post. Hitting you up, but I'm stuck on hold. It's really a bad reception out there. Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? Yeah, I love you. But I need you. And you're off my guys i forgot to ask how was your thanksgiving by the time you're watching this you've already had your thanksgiving how was it did you eat a lot did you laugh a lot and did you have an amazing time and create great memories i really hope you did because i did and i am so very thankful to have you guys supporting me watching my videos subscribing like i'm just so very thankful like i if you asked me a few years ago that i would start a youtube and have over 60,000 subscribers i would have said you lying thank you so much for the love and support that you guys show me I feel it in my heart and it does not go unnoticed. I thank you so very much. Mwah. Now we have moved on to the kitchen, which is the heart of the home where all the delicious meals are made. I am just clearing off the countertop. I have to load the dishwasher, but before I do that, I have to unload the dishwasher. So it's a lot to do, guys.
So just to give you guys a little bit more information about me being MIA. Oh, okay, where do I begin? So just when I thought I had everything figured out, I had a routine down for the kids and I, and then it just got crazier. Just know right now I'm doing this whole parenting thing all by myself. I think about a month into my son going to school, I had a solid routine for us. I was able to film a couple of videos, but I could not find the time to edit. So editing did get pushed back. I tried staying up two nights in a row to edit. The third night, I couldn't. I was so tired from no sleep. I looked like one of those zombies from Walking Dead. I couldn't do it anymore. I know if I didn't hit the brakes, I, I would have drove myself to depression. It was that bad. I don't think depression is the right word, but I was definitely stressed. I felt like I was just going and going and going like the Energizer Bunny. I had to sit myself down. <laughs> And just had like a deep conversation with myself and said the videos can wait if you don't unplug and reset now this is me telling me this if you don't unplug and reset it's not going to be good for you and to continue you have to take some time I work best when I'm feeling my best and if I'm not currently feeling my best it's not going to motivate me to get things done and I was getting everything done but I was forcing myself to get everything done and at this point honestly I have to because again I'm the only parent right now the moment I started unplugging relaxing sleeping when it came to a certain time it was bedtime I did that for a good month oh my gosh I feel so good now I feel rested and I promised myself anytime I'm feeling overwhelming and I'm talking about to the extreme like I can't take it I will just take a step back and this that's okay because without good health you can't enjoy anything anyway so make sure the health now this is a message for you guys make sure your health is good and health is not just about eating well of course we want that but mentally your health in general make sure that is good because if that is not good we cannot enjoy the fruits of our labor and it doesn't have to be nothing major you don't have to go on an expensive vacation or do anything drastic just something simple as going to sleep at a decent time or just make you feel so much much better at least for me it did I was worried you blow my reputation but if you got this out on me, yeah, yeah, yeah. The way you're making me shiver, your yeah. hands on my silver, keep like pulling the trigger, alright. This very finger for people like them. Oh, no, no. But darling, oh, my, my, I'm feeling so fly up in the zone now. I'm like a golden crown, burning high up in the sky, oh. It's the way you make me feel so good, I feel so good right now. It's the way you make me feel so good, oh.
We don't care much for people like them. We don't care much for people like them. But I let all my mind, I'm feeling so fly up in the zone now. I'm like a golden crown, burn and high up in the sky. Oh, it's the way you make me feel so good, feel so good right now. It's the way you make me feel so good. Oh. Just when I was gonna get the microwave nice and clean to remove the yellow ring, it stopped working. Because I need something quick and simple, I picked up something cheap. The black one is what I'm using for right now. 38, 39, 40. Start all over again. 24/7 So I have been getting so much better with my laundry. However, the problem is that I don't sort the clothes like I normally do because I don't have enough to sort. I just basically wash what's available. And this particular day was the day that I had the most. The most load I'll have is probably like two. Like I've been doing so much better. I'm not too fond of mixing all the colors together. However, it is helping the situation, keeping the laundry down. Um, majority of the reason why I normally tend to have a ton of loads is I wait until I have a full load. If I have three blacks, I'm not going to wash three blacks, three pieces of clothing. Um, so I wait until I have a full load of blacks and blues and um, whites and grays and stuff like that. And then the next thing you know, I end up with a bunch of laundry to do. But now guys, I am mixing these colors together, um, washing them in cold water. Because they're mixed together, I wash them in cold water. Now if I have two loads, what I do is I do 
all the darker colors together and the other lighter colors together to keep this load down guys anything to keep the piles down Having fresh fruits in the house is a must for me. I love having fresh fruits, not just only for me, but for the kids too. It's something that they can easily just grab and go if they just want a snack. are now in the uh, not the kitchen the bathroom um, I'm just basically clearing the counter and giving it a nice good clean um, I'm going to spray the counter first so after I remove everything and then let that sit and do the windows not the windows the mirrors I came and talk After wiping the backsplash on camera while I was editing, I'm like, it's, it's not even dry all the way, which is making it look weird, but I promise you it did eventually dry. Don't care as long as you're there, as long as you're there. Oh, no. 
the plunge I'm using is a multi-surface spray and also it's good for mirrors as well so I'm using the same microfiber cloth to just wipe down the mirror as well Now I am doing these voiceovers way after and now that I'm doing the voiceovers while I'm watching this I'm thinking to myself how did the tub get so dirty I really don't remember I'm pretty sure at that moment I remembered but now I'm like wait how did it get so dirty I don't rem remember but anyways we're getting it nice and clean I am first I'm using just soap soap and water and scrubbing it down as you can see it's easily coming off it's not hard at all so which is good so all I have to do is give it a good scrub and uh, yeah and that's it and then I'm gonna be using the Mrs. The Mrs. Myers tub spray. No, the Mrs. Myers tub and tile spray. I don't use it for tiles because the only tile that we have in the house is the kitchen, the pantry, and the bathroom, but there's no grout. Like there's not really anything between the tiles. So it's like, but anyways, <laughs> that's besides the point. I, I just use it for a tub, for the tub. I usually get this random question a lot um, people wondering if I use toilet paper I have the toilet paper completely away from the three toddlers that I do have but I can sense if it's right for me don't let your head get in the way can't be the the plan was to also do the shower um, so while my sister was here to help me watch the kids as I clean and record for you guys I mean I could easily clean the house but recording is gonna take forever in a day so I definitely have to have someone watching the kids especially during the day it's much difficult versus doing it at nighttime when they're sleeping so I had her come on uh, what well, she wanted to come <laughs> like better for me so she was watching the kids during the day and when I got to the bathroom 
um, to clean the bathroom. Uh, she was in the shower, so I didn't get a chance to do the shower part. Um, and on top of it, if I'm being honest, I didn't want to go back to the shower because by the time she was done, I already moved on <laughs> to the next thing. And I was like, uh, moving forward, moving forward, <laughs> moving forward. So yeah, that's why I didn't get the um, get a chance to do the shower on camera. I didn't do it after. It's just that I just didn't film it. Moving forward, I did it. I think two, yeah, two days later, I did it. But sometimes you fall. Sometimes you fall. Now, because of this whole incident I had earlier with the water heater, you guys saw, oh my gosh, panic is not even the word because my only thought was this thing is gonna burst and the entire house is gonna be full with hot water and the floor is gonna ruin. Like, I just thought of the worst and thank goodness for my neighbor came to the rescue. I was so happy that he got it fixed because that thing did not wanna stop turn off the breaker did not stop it just kept going and going and going so because i removed everything well not everything out of the pantry just everything that i noticed that was getting wet i went and put them in the back room now the back room was already messy but because i moved everything and placed everything in the back room it just looked like a hot mess a complete disaster is what it looks like a complete disaster so we're gonna get that nice and clean get that taken care of but before I start doing the back room I just want to do the pantry first to get it clean and also to remove the stuff that's in the back room that belongs in the pantry to put that back first yeah. In case you guys missed what happened, I'm going to show you again so that way you can see what happened in the pantry. Like the mess. My heart was open I don't know what's happening. I could feel it breaking. So this water heater hose caused all this commotion. So now I have brand new water heater hose. I should not have any worries now. But what he did was, you see that one is just one piece and the other one is half. He had to break that one in order to turn it off. I guess whoever installed this, the pipe that's in the middle was in the way. It was not properly installed, I guess that's based on what he said. Um, because it was in the way he had to break it to turn it off so now I'm just wiping the spots that did get wet I was concerned because you know that's my little DIY project that I'm proud of that was another thing that I was afraid of because I worked so hard on these my first DIY project I do have a video of me doing all that if you guys want to watch it it's going to be in the description box but yes i diy this pantry and i'm so excited the way that it looked before <laughs> and now completely different so it looks very pleasing now compared to before it was just let's just say it looks better before i will <clears throat> excuse me i would also have a link in the description box if you guys want to see the uh, pantry transformation the pantry makeover i love that the fact that i did it i went it's been a while i wanted to do it and finally got the chance and i as you can see the pantry still looks nice
before he ended up fixing it what he did was help me remove a bunch of water because what I did was I got towel and I was just wringing, I kept wringing the towel until the all the water or majority of the water was coming off. But it was so much water to the point where that was just taking too long. So what my neighbor did, he has like this machine that sucks the water. Um, really good machine it came in handy <laughs> he's like I don't use it much but you gonna look like you need to use it but it came in handy so he brought it over and that machine just started sucking the water it was amazing and I right after it sucked out 99% of the water well maybe like 98 all I had to do was take a different towel, one that was dry, and then wipe the floor. And by the time he was able to come, the water got a lot more. So I thank him so much for coming to do this for me and also for having that machine available because, oh my goodness, it saved so much time. to watch the kids toys as often as possible um, I watch them pretty often however I've always said this but I do not watch the kids toys um, on camera um, I used to I do have videos of doing it um, that's because I just thought maybe you know you guys might not want to see a bunch of toys being washed but on this particular day, um, I did not sort any of the toys because it was wash day. Well, not um, that particular day, but the next day I was gonna go ahead and wash them. So it was no point trying to sort something that's going to just get all mixed up together anyways. Now guys, I don't know which child did this. So we have a shredder and I keep the shredder in that little corner and the kids, one of them, I don't know if it's all three because the third one, he's one now. Yes, oh, I forgot to mention to you guys. Oh my goodness, he is not a baby anymore but I'm still gonna say my baby because <laughs> he's still my baby but he is not a baby anymore he did turn one years old and i have three toddlers can you believe that three toddlers under five years old that is crazy um yeah he's not a baby anymore so he is walking he is doing everything following his brother um his brothers around he wants to play is excited oh my gosh and he's doing boily stuff and one of the boily stuff he's doing is messing with things so i don't know if it was him or the other ones but i don't know but one of them got to the shredder and decided to just um yeah as you can see there's paper everywhere <laughs> shredded paper everywhere it's crazy I wanted to add that yes I did sweep the rug um, that is because I did not want to use the vacuum right away the kids are sleeping um, I didn't want to use a vacuum for too long so I went and used the broom which is not gonna make any noise to get majority of the paper off the rug and then once I have majority of it off I went ahead and used a vacuum for a short amount of time and got the rest of it out now I know the entire thing I had like little pieces here and there not much 
but I'm like, let me go ahead and finish the rest tomorrow because at that point I thought to myself, okay, I'm, I've been using the vacuum way too long, longer than I wanted to. So that's the reason why I used the broom first because I didn't want to use the vacuum t for too long. It made too much noise to wake up the babies. Now we are doing the living room, which is not bad at all. I would have had a lot more work to do if it was, but um, I just have to pick up the toys off the floor and in random places. The puzzles I keep in a zip. <laughs> I keep it's late, guys. The puzzles I keep in a ziplock bag, so I'm gonna put those in a ziplock bag to put them back in their room. And I'm going to be sweeping the sweeping the floor, mopping, um, cleaning the mirror that's by the front door, cleaning the table, cleaning the entire couch because we're wiping the entire couch because it needed three toddlers. It needs some wiping. <laughs> that is why it's leather and it's that color, or else it would have been, you know, just a whole different color, maybe brown and wiping the uh, the little table that's between the armchairs yeah i don't really have much to do in the living room i am so happy it's towards the end almost done we're almost there and then i'm going to be after i am going to be folding all the laundry that we did now during this whole video during the whole time i should say during the whole time i was cleaning everything i did not fold anything i was just washing and putting them in baskets i did not fold anything um so we are going to be folding everything um once i am done getting the living room nice and clean Pretending, come home with me. Let's 
So I am thinking about, I've been thinking about it for a while, but I was like, oh, I do like the fact that the living room don't have a rug and it's just really open to that kids, the, since I have three toddlers and they're boys and they're all talking about active, you know, it's open and they can just like run around and stuff like that. What they love to do is ride their skates. They practice their skates here all the time and that was the reason why I didn't add the um, rug back because at that point they started using the skates more and I saw how they were enjoying it, laughing and playing with each other and I was like that it felt good to me and that warmed my heart seeing them doing that and now they're like got so much better at riding the skates where we just go outside sometimes and I was like thinking to myself wait a minute since we'd be doing this outside now and they don't they ride the skates inside the house as well but we do it outside more and I feel more comfortable with them doing it outside because before they were just learning and I didn't want them to like scrape themselves too much but then again they're boys it's gonna happen eventually but um now okay with that being said I'm thinking I'm thinking to myself I could actually get a rug I can get a rug um I could put the same rug down I still have it um, but I was also thinking of getting something uh, different, like a different color, like giving it, you know, like something that's going to pop, <laughs> add a little something to this space, which I'm thinking about. And not just that, but, you know, some kind of decoration and, you know, add a little something here, a little something there, nothing drastic. But I was thinking about doing that. Um, we'll see make it look a little bit more girly you know if i do decide to do it it's gonna be more like a, a clean and decorate with me video which i'm thinking about for this year i will not be putting up the christmas tree right away usually a day after thanksgiving i like to go ahead and put the christmas tree um but this time around i'm like thinking to myself maybe i should just wait a week so that way I can just have the Christmas tree on, up for only three weeks. The reason why I'm saying this, guys, I'm just thinking about these kids and this Christmas tree and the ornaments. <laughs> Every year, this tree would start off really nicely, right? And then the top part would remain nice, and the bottom part where they can reach all the ornaments are usually just gone or on the floor somewhere, random places. And then I sometimes, when I see one, I'll put them on the counter so that way I can put them back. And then they end up back on the floor. It's like a back and forth thing with the Christmas tree when it comes to the kids. That's why it's important to have shatterproof ornaments just in case if they break, it's, they're not gonna get hurt. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna put the Christmas tree up right away. Um, another reason is because I wanna revamp this area to make it look nicer so i'm thinking should i do that first and then put the christmas tree or just do it all together and film it for you guys i'm not sure yet so i knew i was gonna do this so i already started buying little stuff here and there um that is gonna go in the space so we'll see i'm hoping I'm hoping to find everything that I'm looking for soon so that way I can have this video um, for you guys. And once I do record it, it's not going to come out till probably closer to Christmas. Not too close, maybe like two weeks before Christmas. But at that point, I have already done the video. It's just that I have other videos that I want to put out first.
looking for someone who can play though wanna hang with me i'm not really looking for a friend so spend your time with me Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got the system, my favorite. We are at the finish line. This whole house clean with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it and also cleaned along with me or if you just simply watch cleaning videos I hope you enjoyed watching as much I enjoyed creating this for you guys I thank you so much for your love and support if you are not yet subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing I would love 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 to have you until next time guys I will see you all in the next video bye you can catch my vibe and right away I saw my Hey guys, welcome back to another cleaning motivation video. This clean with me is three days of real life cleaning motivation. If you are new, my name is Naima Altador. I'm a stay at home mom of three boys ages four, three, and one. In this cleaning video, I am cleaning, decluttering, organizing, sanitizing, and giving you laundry motivation. So today I have a full one hour of real life cleaning motivation for you guys, getting you ready for the year 2022. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. And if you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for coming back for another cleaning motivation video. And happy 2022 to you guys. I hope you have an amazing year. Now let's get started with this satisfying clean with me video. We have a 
lot to do guys but first I am starting with loading the dishwasher if you are not new to my channel you know that I used to wash every single piece of item by hand so having a dishwasher a working dishwasher is absolutely amazing it definitely cut the time and of course if everything cannot fit I wash the rest by hand which I will be doing So are you guys like me and do not wash your non-stick pots and pans in the dishwasher? If so, let me know in the comments. Now the reason why I do not wash my non-stick pots and pans in the dishwasher because I think the pressure and the heat may be too much for it. So I just hand wash it. So how's everybody's New Year's? I can't believe it's 2022 already. Honestly, for me, this year has flown by so fast. However, it's another year to be thankful, to celebrate, to start new beginnings, and to achieve new goals. This year, I am going to be doing a vision board. I've never done one, so I'm super excited. Now, this year Christmas was a little different, or should I say last year since it is 2022, but yeah, it was a little different. It was just the kids and I. Of course, um, my family came down to celebrate with us, and I host Christmas this year, and I cooked everything, guys. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but it was pretty good. And because they were having their Christmas without their dad, I basically made their Christmas the best I possibly can. Now, when it was time to opening their presents, their dad was on the phone, so he saw everything via cell phone. Thank goodness for technology. I got this spray from Walmart for $1.98. I'm spraying the sink with it. I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes and then rinse in it after.
So we are almost done wiping the counter. I wanted to make sure to get the counter nice and clean because soon we are moving on to the fridge. I am going to clean the fridge, getting it nice and clean. It is messy. And on top of the organizers I already have, I did pick up some organizers from Home Goods, so I also will be using that. So I ended up using both counters. I thought I needed just the one side, but yeah, I ended up using both counters. Now that everything is completely out, we are going to be getting it nice and clean. Some drawers I have to remove because it's, pre it's pretty bad. I mean, I could easily just use a cloth to just clean it, but the fact that I can remove the drawers, might as well do it because it needs it anyway. I just wanted to give the drawers a deep clean. Wiping it down several times and making sure everything is picked up. This um, product that I got from Walmart, it's a, I forgot what it's called, it's a disinfectant 
um, a spray it's a scented different disinfectant spray it has bleach in it so if you're using it you have to be careful because it will bleach out your clothes um, it happened I had to find out the hard way but um, I like it it's good and the price is pretty good as well so I am using that and each time I wipe down the um, inside the fridge I use a different cloth although it's still a white cloth but it's a different cloth that I'm using so yeah the fridge is looking pretty nice completely different from how from where we started Thinking about the way that you know me No one ever cared like you care for me You're such a bright star in the dark space mm, babe It never worked out with the others All we ever did was fight And at one point I would never thought that I would make In order to clean it, you have to physically remove that whole drawer And it's always like this Well, not always, but if it takes a while for me to clean it, then yes, it's like this. So I'm getting that cleaned as well, which I didn't plan on doing because I was not expecting it to look this bad. But it's a good thing I, I looked and pulled out the drawer because yeah, it needed to get wiped. While I was editing, I realized I left the fridge open the entire time I'm wiping down the drawer. I did not realize it then. It wasn't until I was editing. I'm like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? Close the fridge. But yeah, I completely, I completely forgot. I was in the zone. The mission was to clean the drawer. So yeah. Also, I struggled to put that drawer back in. For some reason, it would not go back in. It looked like it was imperfectly, and I go in to close it, and it's not closing all the way. It's not on the track properly. 
I don't know, it was a little tricky, but we got it. Written down the words to say It is time I've been waiting five days To explain How you make me feel inside Baby Got it all figured out My goal is to try to keep it looking organized Not just looking organized But actually organized And it looks nice When you open the fridge And you see it nicely organized I do like that um, however, I do know life happens, you know, this is real life, life does happen, but I'm trying to keep it nicely organized because I, I love, I love opening the fridge and just see it, you know, it's beauty, <laughs> I'm messing, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I need to keep it nicely organized. So I picked up these eggs organizers from Home Goods as well. I got a total of three, but I'm only using two for right now because I only have enough eggs for two. But I picked up three because we do eat a lot of eggs in this household. It's mainly for breakfast and for baking because I do like to bake. And we are obsessed with waffles. <laughs> if you want, if you follow me on Instagram and watch my Instagram stories, you know I like to make waffles for breakfast for the kids. That's one of their favorites. So yeah, um, I am filling that up. It looks so nice, guys. Like, look at the difference. The things I plan, the things I would say now I get brand Because I do like to cook, I made sure to stock on vegetables. I picked up quite a bit of bell peppers and also tomatoes, which I love to do a tomato and cucumber salad. It is absolutely delicious. I drizzle it with some Italian dressing. When I'm feeling hungry and don't want nothing too heavy, that is usually my go-to. I remember with my last pregnancy, oh my gosh, that was like one of the things that I ate a lot was tomato and cucumber salad. It is absolutely delicious. If you haven't tried it, try it, it's really, really good. You could of course try it with any dressing, but I like using the um, Italian dressing with mine.
the fridge is clean it looks amazing nicely organized this is all the trash from it, everything that we decluttered out of the fridge anything that was spoiled or simply just been sitting there way too long He did wake up from his um, sleep, so I had to pause to get that situated. He wanted mommy. He is still exclusively breastfeeding. Well, not exclusively. He is 80% breastfeeding and 20% solid. I'm trying to get him to be more solid, but it is a little tricky. He is my youngest, and if I'm not, if I'm gonna be honest, I just love I, I love breastfeeding my children. Well, the other two, of course, they're way too old. <laughs> well, for me, they're way too old. Like, <laughs> your time is up, buddy. But for the youngest, at this point, I probably would have had him off. But the fact that he is the youngest and um, I don't know, I don't have no plans to take him off yet. He will be getting off because he has teeth. <laughs> he has teeth that he likes to exercise on me. So when he does that to me, I'm like, okay, I need to get you off because you're just, you're just using your teeth a little too much, buddy. And it's painful when he does use his teeth. But um, yeah, my goal hopefully this year is to transition him to more solids. Now because he is um, mostly breastfeeding, he's just so used to that and that's his comfort zone. And me breastfeeding him, having him in that baby position is also my comfort zone. I, I love that. So he does need his milk to put him back to sleep. At some point, I want to get the containers that has the lid. Um, it sucks. Like the moment you press it down, it's supposed to, I guess, sucks the air out. But I want to get that for the fruits. Um, yeah, but right now, I don't have that. So right now, this is what I'm using. I'm using what I have. You gotta use what you have to do what you need. So now that we are done with the main part I wanted to do on my to-do list is the fridge. I didn't get to the doors because I noticed that it was getting late and my son kept waking up. So yeah, doing the doors is going to have to be another day. And it's not much to do anyways for the doors. And I also want to tackle the freezer as well. I haven't got organizers for the freezer yet, but that is on my to-do list. At some point, I want to stop at Home Goods again to get organizers. I think I'm obsessed with Home Goods. Doing this whole holiday, 
I've been to Home Goods a lot and I'm obsessed already. It's been a while since I've been to Home Goods, so I forgot the vibe. <laughs> Finishing up the kitchen. <laughs> so I'm finishing up the kitchen, getting a few things out the sink clean. So I'm finishing up in the kitchen. <coughs> Honey, hold on, mommy. Hold on, baby. Okay, let's try this again. So I'm finishing up the kitchen, getting everything uh, done. I had a few things in the sink, so I am getting that nice and clean. Okay, so you guys gonna have to be quiet, okay? My son is up again, and I don't want him to make too much noise. Yeah, so I was saying that I'm just washing a few things that was in the sink um, from the day. This is an all day cleaner, so a few things got dirty during the day along the way. One of the last things I like to do is sweep the floor and while I was sweeping of course there's toys that and while I was sweeping of course I found toys underneath the, the refrigerator. Now I'm mopping the floor. <laughs> Well, I'm not actually using a mop, as you can see. Um, yeah, I could have used a mop, but I prefer to just pretty much get down on my knees to give it a really good clean with a thick rag. Earlier today, the kids were eating popsicles and, <laughs> that's him in the background. The kids were eating popsicles and the drip, it, would, it got on the floor, so the floor is sticky so I wanted to make sure to get the floor actually washed with soap and water so that is what I'm doing Thank you. 
now we are moving on to the blinds guys i stay buying vertical blind tabs if it's up to my kids vertical blind tabs are gonna keep selling because they keep messing with these blinds so i have to keep repairing them i also have to repair the one in their room as well yeah i have to repair the one in your room as well you keep pulling yeah. them <laughs> yeah they keep pulling them i don't know what it is about the blinds that they keep pulling but yeah i'm just repairing that and then once i'm done with that it's not much to do in the living room okay guys okay honey once, what is this? once i'm done with that i'm gonna be moving on to okay baby once i'm done with that i'm gonna be moving on to their bedroom yes so once I'm done with that, I'm going to be moving on. Someone, someone wants to go back to sleep. So once I'm done with that, I am going to be moving on to their bedroom. And after their bedroom, day three is going to be the pantry. And I'm going to be doing some laundry as well. And for the rest of the video, guys, as you can hear, the kids want to go back to sleep. So for the rest of the, the video, I'm going to let the music play. So I hope you guys continue enjoy watching and I will see you at the end. All that I ask is for you to please my every need to put in the time I'm through, trying to tell you what to do, how to make me fall for you. You should learn that on your own I'll play cool Cause I hope you pick it up soon And you know just what to do Don't you? Boy, just be honest a bright star in the dark space mm, babe it never worked out with the others all we ever did was fight and at one point i would never thought that i would meet someone like you this time it's all different you got every little string on me the way you make me feel is crazy how did you get so fly you got me like 
Sounding. 
Yeah, I know I did you wrong, but I learned my lesson. Now what if we could move on? Give me a chance.
I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night. You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like. You're smiling, but there's something missing in your eyes. Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind. But I will make you forget all your sorrows. Let go like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade. If you're ready for a good time, count on me. There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes. Do you know how much I love you, wanna see you smile? Where's the happy girl that I know with a heart on fire? I'll do anything to make it fine, but I can tell that you have something on your mind right now. But I will make you forget all your sorrows. Let go like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade. If you're ready for a good time, count on me. There's a party in the your problems away i'm all about the good vibes i know you're all about the good vibes we are all about the good the good vibes we are all about the good the good times dance until it feels all right all night we're all about the good vibes all about the good vibes i will make you forget sorrows let go like there's no tomorrow let's have a drink just relax all your problems will fade if you're ready for a good time count on me there's a party in the backyard dance your problems away i'm all about the good vibes i know you're all about the good vibes let's have a drink just relax all your
Thank you guys so much for making it to the end i appreciate you all for watching if you are new to my channel and have not yet subscribed please consider subscribing to my channel i would love to have you and again guys happy 2022 can you believe the year went by so fast well for me it went by really fast and it's another year another blessing another celebration just another 
everything another accomplishment everything that you want to do in your, on your to-do list just another day to get it done again i want to thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you like content like this and want to see more thank you all happy 2022 and i will see you in the next one bye and welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Naima Altador I am a stay-at-home mom of three boys ages five three and one today's video is a messy house clean with me my son turned five and we had a party for him and after the party it just turned into a complete disaster so we are going to clean it up if you are here for the first time please consider subscribing to my channel and if you already subscribed thank you so much for coming back for another cleaning motivational video my little baby is not so little anymore he turned five years old and we had a party for him and since he loved the movie luca that was the theme he had a really good time we had a three-day celebration started on his birthday and the whole time he was on cloud nine just smiling and enjoying himself which of course as a mother that's what you want to see for your child it's just pure happiness so i'm just super happy that he had a great birthday So there was so much to sweep off the floor, but before we move on to the messy, messy kitchen, first I'm going to finish the living room. I wanna finish the living room first because at this very moment, the kids are outside playing with their dad. He's giving me the space to go ahead and clean without the kids running back and forth. So I wanna go ahead and get the living room done for them. So that way, once I'm in the kitchen cleaning up, they can be in the living room. I did get an early start, so I'm pretty sure by the end of today, I would have to go ahead and do some more cleaning.
so the kids came in for a quick bathroom break and, and saw that I was in the middle of pulling the balloons down and of course they wanted to go ahead and help with that. Mainly my middle child so he's going to go ahead and pull down all the balloons with the help and supervision of mommy. Alright go ahead. Go ahead do that one. Harder. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I can't reach it. Okay, here we go. All right, thank you. What about this one? Oh. Can you reach this one? Yes. All right. Oh, that was fast. What about this one? Oh. Here. No, that one. You got it. Me. All right, no. go ahead. Go ahead. Good job. And next one? Be, there's, look, right there. Go ahead. Two down. <laughs> and then go ahead. Harder. Good job. Next one. I'll do this one. The spring came off of this one. But let's do these two. Sure. There you go. Good job. Blue one. So they're back outside now and I'm gathering all the balloons and putting them in the hallway because I'm not popping them. I'm going to allow them to pop it and they are going to have fun popping it. So why pop them when they could have fun popping them themselves? Especially my one year old. Oh my gosh, he is obsessed with popping balloons. Watching this bag, I kept saying it. I didn't change it because I figured you guys understood what I meant. And I wanted to add another reason why we kept the balloons. I use them to do math practice with my oldest especially he's five years old he can do basic math the balloons were great to use as tools for that and he got to pop them at the same time so for example we would pick out five balloons and i would ask him well if you have five balloons if you pop three how many do you have left so he would go ahead and pop 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 and then voila two left so it was just basic math that we use as well and not only with balloons you can use it with toys with legos pretty much just anything in my opinion when it comes to homework to get kids involved like really really involved and want them to do it is incorporate something that they like so that way it doesn't seem so much like homework So hopefully next year he still likes Luca because if so, I already have all the stuff that I need because I will be saving this. I'm not throwing it away. And also, yes, guys, the plastic cover that I use for the table, I am saving it because one, it was not dirty at all. Two, there was no holes in it. Three, it stayed in perfect condition. So I'm saving it. It can definitely be used for the next birthday. If not a birthday, definitely 4th of July because, you know, red, white, and blue. And I already have the blue tablecloth partly there for my decoration for the 4th. So this is why I wanted to move all the balloons away so that way I can easily sweep the floor. Girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Cause everything reminds me of you. I can't take no more. Girl, I think I'm losing my mind Try to go to work, but I lost track of time Cause everyone keep looking like you I can't take no more I miss 
your touch from your hands and your body it hurts so much to think of you as someone else can't get enough when you're sweet talking to me now i'm talking sweet all by myself put your arms around me put your faith in me put your love on me what you need from me need your love on me put your love the clock and rewind go back to that moment in time when you say you want me for life was it all a lie i gave my all to deserve ya begging on my knees just to show ya you're the one i want and i love ya no 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 lie i miss your touch from your hands and your body Sweet talking to me. Now I'm talking sweet all by myself. Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. What you need from me, need your love on me, put your love on me. I'm gonna do everything. And because I have a five year old, three, and a one year old, to my surprise, the rug. <laughs> has not turned brown yet. And here, as you can see, I'm just using my feet to measure to make sure it's centered. orange glow it's a two-in-one cleaning polish which I like to use sometimes the wood spray I usually use it is completely finished so I'm back to using my two-in-one clean and polish wood spray the amount of times I had to adjust my pants guys if I had a dollar for each time I pulled my pants up I would have enough for lunch although all the baby weight is gone but my belly guys remain the same that part right there just don't want to leave Until my lungs give out your beauty Because this is a thin rug and under it having a rubber type material, it's very hard to vacuum it. The suction is way too high. And the only way I can vacuum the rug is by turning off the brush on the vacuum. I wanna hold you close, don't wanna take it slow. Oh, I just want you now. I wanna put you in that spotlight, looking at you all night. Put you in that spotlight. Oh, you 
Until my lungs give out your beautiful Now that the living room is completely clean and once the kids are back from playing outside they have a clean living room to run around in and we are in the kitchen now and compared to the living room it's a lot messier it would have been nicer for me to start in the kitchen since it's the messiest but like i mentioned i wanted the kids to just relax in the living room that way i can spend my time cleaning the kitchen Right now I'm cleaning the bar countertop which seems to always have everything on it. It's, it's like a dump and go. So I'm just clearing everything out. So I didn't seem to have a lot of dishes. So instead of putting everything in the dishwasher and waiting until I have a full load to start it, I just end up washing everything by hand.
so guys in the comment below let me know if you have anything planned for this summer mm -hmm. do you have something planned for this summer yeah, yeah? what do you have planned sure. oh yeah can i come yeah oh thank you baby i'm trying to plan something fun for the kids it's already super hot right now so it's already pretty much summer but when summer starts i'm definitely planning something and maybe by reading some of your comments i'll get some ideas of what to do i have a few ideas but whichever it is i know it's going to be something fun the kids would like Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and i hope you got motivated to tackle your to-do list and if you just simply love watching satisfying videos i appreciate you watching as well again thank you guys so very much and if you're new please subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys all in the next video bye As you can see guys, I have all this to clean. You see all that? And I even have all this to clean. It's not a joke. When I said I have a lot to clean, I have a lot to clean. This right here as well. I have to fold those clothes. They're clean. I have to put that back and fix up this old situation. All this and yeah, we have, we have some things to do. So I hope you enjoyed this get it all done video. In this video, I did some homemaking. Also, I will be doing a Christmas haul showing you guys exactly what I got my kids for Christmas this year. And we're going to be wrapping it all. And if you are new to my channel and have not yet subscribed, I would love for you to. And if you already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back for another cleaning motivation video. Yes, I have a lot to do. Although I have a lot to do, I only have one load of laundry, which is amazing so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now Is that your shoes? Huh? No. Go put that back. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> that looks a little too big for you. Bah. Bah? All right. Come here. No? All right. You don't want to come? No? <laughs> oh, and you're back. Hold on, okay? Give mommy a minute.
So in the oh. so it's actually going to be two loads because I don't like when my when it's too full. So I pretty much split it. So now it's two loads. So this is what I ended up ordering earlier. Fried rice, chicken with broccoli. This one is the shrimp. And also this is the chicken. It was in the bag so it's, <laughs> it looks all messy. But yeah, I'm going to feed them this. I have a load going and now it is dinner time. This really looks good. I hope it tastes good too. Actually it does. I had it before and it's really good.
get him off my mind Oh, I want him to be mine, to be mine Hard to say yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now Hard to say yeah, 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 yeah I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall I can make it brighter when it starts Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him nah, 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 nah My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall I can make it bright Sipping on the rocks, citrus in our beverages, citrus in our beverages. Show only the good sides. Always pretty smiles are covering our faces. You know it is all lies. You know it is all lies. On and on and on it goes. Round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute. Taking my time to begin with. On and on and on it goes. Swing it down and Make everything disappear You can play my favorite song Put your rose-colored glasses on What if we stay right here? Make everything disappear Lay low in the beach and your sun Put your rose-colored glasses on Calm down. I think I'm the wrong size. Not enough room for everybody's egos. Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? On and on and on it goes. Round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute. Taking my time to begin with. On and on and on it goes. <laughs> Make everything disappear. Can play my favorite song. Put your rose-colored glasses on. What if? 
on the rocks, citrus in our beverages, citrus in our beverages, show only the good sides, always pretty smiles to cover in our faces, you know it is our lies, you know it is our lies. So I am done with everything. I'm about to wrap the gifts, but before I do, I'm going to make myself a drink. So I'm going to mix Malta and Carnation milk. It could be any Malta brand. That's the one I that was available on Walmart.com. The one I normally um, get wasn't available, so I had to just uh, use this one. And also, look at that. That's oxtail. And we're gonna be prepping everything. So let me make my drink. Oh my gosh. It is so good, carnation milk and malta, so good. And I also ended up folding the rags right here, all the rags that I washed um, yesterday. They're all nicely folded now. And also I ended up folding the second load of laundry that I had earlier. This I have to hang up. Everything is neatly clean. This is all for the uh, home refresh. Home refresh that I am doing, making a, you know the place look, you know, a lot nicer. So I've been buying. Majority of it is from Home Goods and also random places as well. The ones that are from random places are in the Home Goods bag. So look at this basket guys i love it i got two one from target but this one just i know it's bigger and it's it's nicer the other one was nice too but this one is bigger so i like it so yeah and then i got some stuff from ikea as well um we have you guys gonna see you know what let me not say too much you guys are going to see it's gonna look nice i'm trying to make this place look nicer also, I took out the, um, yes, we had, I had more dishes to do. Um, I took out the oxtail that I am about to prep soon, but first, I have to wrap the gifts. These are just the kids' gifts. This one right here. So, one of each for, um, the two older toddlers. And this one I got from Marshall's. Look at that. 
he's into these kind of stuff so I thought he would like it bingo game we like to play some games so I thought the kids would like that and also I <laughs> um, this one the second oldest he's into like construction type vehicles so I thought that would be like perfect for him this one is for me I got this for me it's from me to me <laughs> and I thought this was cute the moon phases so these are the shirts oh yeah this is supposed to be going on the tree so let me just put that aside let me see if I can open it for you guys Ugh. Yeah. I'm open it. Okay, there we go. That is so cute. Focused, focused. Oh, there we go. I thought that was so cute when I saw it. So yes, this is from me to me. And I'm gonna do that every year. Give me something. Um, connect for a game so that way we can play Jenga. So the oldest ended up picking this out for the youngest. This is from Ikea. This as well. Another shirt. The oldest, he's like into like space stuff. So I saw this shirt um, at Target and I thought it would be like perfect for him. And what else? Oh, and also he's into like Spider-Man. Although he's never ever seen the, uh, the movie or even any shows but for some reason he's into it <laughs> and I thought it would go perfect with a watch because he's been asking for a watch and I'm like okay we're gonna get you a watch I want to get something a little nicer for him but then again he's in preschool and I don't want it to get wet when he's in the bathroom washing his hands so I thought something cheaper would be better and I got this as well and the only reason why I got this, he doesn't even watch any of this, so it doesn't make sense for him. But let me show you. Because of Spider-Man that he likes and never seen for some reason. But I got it for him for school. And also, of course, he could take it anywhere. And this is for the second oldest. And what actually, you know what? I got three. This one, I definitely got it for the oldest. And then the other two can <laughs> decide. And uh, this one is for the youngest. He got only two um, two gifts because, of course, everything is going to be passed down to him eventually, for example. <laughs> so it's no point to get him a lot of stuff. And also, they're into painting. So I thought this would be fun. I got three sets since there are three kids. That is also from Ikea. A book, How to Help the Earth by Lorax. Um yeah so i thought when i saw this um app where did i see it five and below i went to five and below and got like a bunch of books and saw this and thought i like it i want to incorporate that and also they would and they love books and this shit right here i haven't opened it so i don't know exactly i don't remember exactly but what it looks like but um clearly you can already see but this is what is uh, oldest he absolutely loved everything fast yeah he's very energetic and yeah so this was he he is definitely made for speed this is him all the way and also some belts this is from target and these two are from the children place and this is also from the children place as well and this is from five and below so this was a really nice a little addition for them i thought that would be cute so i'm gonna go ahead and add this to the tree y'all yeah, don't make fun of my tree <laughs> i didn't do yeah don't make fun okay not the best this year like i normally do it but at least it's up but let me go ahead and put the candy canes on the tree and also wrap all of this and this right here it's um, a telescope that he's been asking for for like ages so he finally got it he's gonna be excited so yeah so this is the little Christmas gift haul and this year we didn't get them too much 
because they have everything that they need. I'm just gonna get them a few things, but not overdo it because the year before and the year before that, oh my goodness, they got way too much stuff. So this is what they got for all three kids. So this is where I keep all my Christmas items. And of course, everything is always on sale after Christmas. Um, so I keep everything in here. So now I have to find, oh, another hat. Find boxes so that way I can, um, oh, it's not focusing. There we go. Boxes that's going to fit everything. So what I'm doing is trying to see what I can reuse because I do re uh, reuse the boxes and the bags if they're in a soup almost fell if they're in super good condition so yeah I'm trying to see what I can reuse before I open anything new everybody's been saying that you're up to no good everyone has been telling me that you got me hooked you're playing it big time you're feeding me lies everyone has been bugging me to sever the ties but i would never ever ever would have believed them no reason sometimes the truth is hard to see but now the never ever ever seem to be over i saw so i'm happy i got freed lucky 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 me uh -uh -uh. lucky 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 me to smile but i would never ever ever would have believed them no reason sometimes the truth is hard to see but now the never ever ever seem to be over i saw so i'm happy i got freed lucky 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 me uh -oh. lucky 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 me
up again The things you try I think that you won't regret We are kings of the world And tonight is our playground We are kings of the world And anywhere we home down We are kings of the world When my son opened his gift and see this, oh my gosh, look at that. He is going to flip. It's really nice, I like it. So we, oh, so we are almost there. I ended up opening, I had to open some more because I could not find anything that fit the bigger pieces like this for example I don't have then again my sister did get some so she may have gotten some that I may have needed but um yeah I don't have any more wrapping paper this is in the wrong box this the, these two is for birthdays and all the birthday stuff goes in there
What did you expect now? Daddy feel better? A town no simple lies wouldn't cut you down. What do you regret now? Thinking you were Until my lungs give out your beauty
Until my lungs give out your beautiful Wanna put you in that spotlight Looking at you all night, all night I'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful Cause you got the feeling like, like I'm lucid dreaming 
Thank you.